Hey Capricorn, how is it going? I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for checking out Truly Divine's channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is that? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome. Thank you for coming back. Um, very interesting reading a message definitely for you guys for the 16th to the 30th. So let's just dig in. Let's get started. So we have two power of love cards that came up. The one is talking about spontaneity. You move beyond the constant constraints of the mind and freely and loving embrace new situations so beautiful and the other one says respect you value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love so another beautiful card to start off this reading with so we get in to the cards so we have the fortune wheel we have four of earth king of water we have the star card. We have three of water, two of air, nine of fire, followed by the hangman, four of water, and page of water. So very interesting. Um, definitely a message. So I feel like, you know, you guys are on sorry, this journey. Um, and I feel like you're kind of looking at things now from a different view. Sorry, guys. Um, I feel like, you know, destiny is definitely on your side right now. I feel like, you know, things are finally coming together. They're piecing themselves together. They're making sense. I feel like spirit is definitely on your side. This, like, not this time, but definitely um where you are in your life right now spirit is there um i just i feel like you guys see things from a different um perspective or a different view right now with this fortune but i feel like like everything is coming together you know you guys are feeling the love you're feeling the you know the abundances you're feeling um rewarded you're feeling just positive capricorns I feel like this, where you are, Capricorns, in your life right, right now, I'm in need of order. I feel like, you know, there's really no reason for you guys to fear anymore. You know, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. I feel like things are definitely falling into place. Things are definitely falling um, in order. I feel like this is a time right now, Capricorn, where you need to release the old to bring in the new as well. That's the message I get with the support of Earth right now. I feel like, you know, whatever decisions, whatever conflicts you're in, whatever, um, whatever's got your mind in a twirl or twisted, I feel like, you know, you need to listen to yourself. You need to listen to your gut and your intuition. I feel like this is a time to make, you know, important decisions. You could be having to make important decisions. Um, but I feel like meditation will definitely help you get into the... I want to say the mojo of it, but I just feel like whatever decision or whatever decision. I just feel like you guys have to look within yourself and you'll find the answers. I feel like, you know, we're at this new place right now, this new beginning to have hope, right? I feel like with the star card, that's what that represents. That hope, that's, you know, us being finally on the right path, Capricorn. I feel like you guys are moving into the sun. You're moving into the, the positivity, the light. I feel like, you know, maybe you felt like things were going to come together. Maybe you felt things, you know, weren't going to be for you. Maybe you felt like, you know, you were up against the storm. And now you're kind of seeing the brighter side of things, the brighter view. I feel like this is a time definitely to celebrate with your family. Um, it's a time of joy. It's a time of family. Um, accepting where you are now. You know, did you think that where you are now is where you were going to be, you know, three months, six months, a year ago? No, of course not. No one does. You know, but I think that everything that you've been able to manifest, everything that you've gone through has led you to where you are today, um, which is a better place, right? I feel like, you know, whatever this situation is, whatever this um, burden, which I kind of feel it could be, I feel like, you know, take a break and just reconsider. I feel like there is no reason to rush this. If this is a new love situation, I feel like, you know what, let divine order take it, be patient, be willing to wait, 
but because I feel like what is coming to you is going to be simply amazing Capricorn. I just feel like you guys need to just let loose a little bit. Um, just take things in as they come. I feel like you have to follow the light, you know, follow the light within yourself. What is your heart saying? You know, follow, follow that path, you know, stop, look around, take this, take the sights in, you know, take the feelings in. What are you feeling? You know, what is this other person feeling? That's what I feel like with that nine of fire. I feel like, you know, you have to realize nothing in life is free and everything that you want, you need to work for. I feel like this is a great time to let go of stuff that, you know, no longer serves you, stuff that's weighing you down, stuff that's keeping you stuck. I feel like you need, wait and see how things pan out. You guys don't even know how things are going to pan out. You just want them now, Capricorn, and, and like you're willing to like just go get it without even thinking of it. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like, you know what, everything that is meant for you is coming towards you because it's meant for you, especially because we have the four of water here. And that's, you know, that's talking about abundances for sure. But that's talking about, you know, the world is finally in your hands now. Like you have the, the chance to change this course, whatever this is, you have a chance to change it. Capricorn, you have a chance to make this right, make this better. You know, there's opportunities coming. You don't need to be sad anymore. No, let shit flow. Let divine order and divine timing take this. You know, if this is a relationship in which I think it is, because usually, not usually, but all of the readings that I've done so far have been about love, you know, let it come to you. You know, don't fight it. There's a strong intimacy with you guys, with someone. I feel um, it's like a playful, cheerful, you know, funny, sexual you like connection like you look at this person you're like man he's fine or like wow she's beautiful that kind of feeling is what i was coming through with this page of water i just feel like you're looking at this person and you're like where have you been my whole life it's just you know you're comfortable with them i feel like you can open your heart i feel like you just like want to put on your dancing shoes and go and dance for some of you that's what i feel capricorns you know you just met this person and it's like you want to dance like it's just a fun loving energy that's coming through so just beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So your ending reading card is talking about the garden and the gates. So it says, abundant prosperity, staying safe. This card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a key on a chain around her neck. This card upright bodes well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But be aware, the choice to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by habit or fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that is just outside your gate. It's beautiful. So with that, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments. Subscribe, like if you haven't. If you would like a personal, all my information is down below. No, I'm sending you all love and light, Capricorn. And I'll see you in July. Take care, guys.